In this lesson, I want to explain this menu here. Select mesh and uh, pin. As you can see, if you go into this and select this tool, let's go to the mesh. First, select mesh with a brush. If you select it, as you can see, we have a brush here. You can brush in your mesh in a 2D. As you can see, we have a mesh. You can brush it like this. <clears throat> you can select a mesh. If you are in a brush tool, in a 2D or 3D, as you can see in a 3D, we have, we can change the size. As I said before, you can change the focalness. As you can see, we have a two circle, inner circle and outer circle. In the inner circle, we have 100% of that brush and going to the zero to the outer circle. That is called fall off. <clears throat> in a 2D or in a 3D, when you right click, as you can see, you can subdivide it. You can create a pin, freeze it or solidify. You can freeze it, for example and then freeze. As you can see, if we uh, simulate it, it freezes in air. We can uh, right click and uh, in 3D, delete freeze region. And you can brush it again. You can brush this part again, and you can create a pin if you want, or you can subdivide it. If you want to brush this size and if you want to add some other part, you can hold in shift. <clears throat> for deleting that, you can hold in control. For deleting that part, you can hold in control. As you can see, if you if you going to simulate, it fall down because of the gravity. If you want to pin these parts, you can go into the create a pin here. Select a mesh or directly create a pin box or lasso. These are just selecting mesh. You can select some meshes here. You can go here and select a mesh. These are mesh. For example, in this part of objects, as you can see, you can select them because they are freeze. As you can see, you can unfreeze them. And as you can see, we have a low quality of mesh. If you don't want to change the particle distance in a lower number, and for example, you don't need to uh, a lot of mesh in the whole pattern. If you want to, for example, add a little pattern uh, mesh here for more quality, you can go in here and uh, brush the mesh. For example, I'll brush the meshes here and then tell the software right click and subdivide that and we can close it go into the this tool and as you can see in the brush area we subdivided the mesh and we have more quality of mesh here not whole pattern this is one of the benefit benefit of the this tool so you can select a mesh with the brush you can select a mesh with a box it means you can with a click and drag and create a box to uh, select it or lasso. It's very simple. You can click and drag holding your mouse and then going back to the first and release it. You can select it with the lasso. And after that, you can you can right click and oh, as you can see, why in the 2D does not work? Because you have to be in 3D or select a brush. The brush to then we can right click and create a pin from the brush area. You can freeze it. You can solidify. I will be explain uh, solidify in the next lesson. But it's make uh, that part harder. Go back to our uh, to the here. You can brush. You can brush here, holding shift and brush here. Then you can right click, create pin. As you can see, we have a pin there. We can close brush. They are pinned. If you are in a simulation, you can move the pin area like this. As you can see, they are all selected and you can move them. And we have lots of in interesting and important projects that you can create with the pins. The pins are very important. To delete a pin, you can right click and delete selected pin, delete all pin, deactivate pin. And a lot of things that's uh, attached pin to auto, I will explain it. Or you can simply control W, delete all pin and all fall down. Or you can directly create a pin with a box. 
you can just click and drag and create pin. In a previous method, you have to brush some mesh and then right click and here you can create mesh. Control W to delete all pin. That's it. Or you can create a lasso of the pin and pin somewhere in that. Or you can hold in control to delete the pin. Hold in control to create a pin. Hold in control. Hold in shift to add a pin in an area. Hold in control and click and drag to delete all pin with a lasso or with a box. Or if you want to brush, then right click. And that's it. Here you can go to move tool and this texture okay this is benefit of these tools are very important and we use a lot pins hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release